today I have with me uh, Marilyn Glanville, who's the UK's leading uh, women's health nutritionist. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Kerry. Hi. Thank you for joining us. And today we're talking about the menopause and specifically diets and how we can manage our menopausal symptoms through diet, aren't we? We are, and it's really interesting because the scientists have said, why do certain women around the world experience very little menopause symptoms? Mm -hmm. And yet we've all got the same set of hormones. So the question is, what could we learn from women in these other cultures, how they man manage the menopause differently? And they've looked at their diets, and they've looked at foods called phytoestrogens. Now, the word is, is a bit misleading. They don't have an estrogenic action. They have more of a balancing effect on hormones because when they look at the men in these countries like Japan they don't have the same prostate cancer death rate as men in the West so they have a balancing effect on hormones and at the menopause we can focus our diets in slightly different ways and everybody thinks of soya being a phytoestrogen which it is but it's not the be all and end all so any of the legumes like chickpeas lentils kidney beans can be really useful flax seeds also are a good one and also they can add in things like organic soya milk so it doesn't have to be major changes and when they've looked at just adding these in their food only a small percentage like even 10 percent change in the diet can make a big significant difference to the hot flushes so it's all about putting these foods in the diet and also balancing blood sugar which I talk about in the clinic we even with younger women but it becomes even more important at the menopause to make sure that as women we eat little and often we watch the things like the caffeine and the sugar that put us on this roller coaster of blood sugar but the more we can stabilize the blood sugar the more our moods will be stable um, yes our weight but also generally things that may be causing us to feel low and irritable which actually for some women are stronger symptoms in what we call the perimenopause this lead up to the menopause can be stronger symptoms than even the hot flushes and the night sweat so putting in the phytoestrogens getting good amounts of fruit and vegetables, stabilizing blood sugar, and taking out things that we class as stimulants, like the caffeine, can make a real difference in not only hot flushes and night sweats, but how they feel in terms of moods and anxiety and tension. Lovely, thank you. 